Welcome to another episode of Shez's Pantry Challenge. Today's contestant was actually Maddie McAuliffe, my teammate. Um, so she opened up her pantry and fridge um, for today's episode. So let's check out what she has given me to work with. All right, sweet. Let's have a look at what we stole from Maddie's pantry and fridge. So she was extremely well stocked and I know her very well, so I also know what her favorite foods are. Um, but today we stole some eggs, peas, a tin of corn, some pastry. So she only had one sheet of pastry left that she really wanted me to use up. Had some chicken stock, some shredded chicken already cooked, some asparagus, which I've chopped up, butter, she had a little bit of cream left and onion. And I've also added a couple of uh, herbs to that, so some rosemary and thyme. So today, we are gonna make a chicken and asparagus and corn pie um, with just a lid and no base. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 220 degrees, so nice and hot today. Crank Big Betty here. Get the pan nice and hot. And we wanna use about 40 grams of butter here. We just wanna wait for that to melt. And then one onion, uh, finely diced. We'll put that in. Now you just want it to be cooked, you don't want it to be brown. It'll probably take about five to six minutes. Once the onion is ready, it looks like this. Add in any hard vegetables that you have. So I'm putting the asparagus in now, but if I had any carrot or pumpkin, those sorts of things, I'd put them in now too, and just cook them up for a minute or two until they're soft. All right, so now the asparagus has softened a little. We're gonna add a quarter of a cup of flour. So you just wanna cook off the flour so that the um, gravy in the pie doesn't taste like flour. Next, add a cup and a half of chicken stock or whatever stock you've got at home is fine. Put that in, and then you just wanna bring it to the boil. And once it's boiling, just bring it down uh, to simmer for just a minute or two, just so you can see the sauce thickening up already. We're just gonna add a little bit of thyme and a little bit of rosemary in this one, but you can use parsley or whatever other herbs you've got at home, whatever mix you like to do. Mix that through. And also just season with salt and pepper. All right, lift it off the heat now. And we're just gonna add all our other ingredients. So we'll start with about half a cup of cream, about two cups of shredded chicken. And we're also gonna add the can of corn and about half a cup of frozen peas. All right, so the pie filling is ready to go. So just leave that there to cool a little bit and we'll head back over to the bench. All right, so we're gonna get our little ramekins. So I've just got four here, but there's probably enough mixture for double that so you can freeze it. Um, and we're just gonna measure those out for our lids. So just get the general size, and then we wanna go about a centimeter or two outside of that. So just roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. And there'll be our little lids for the pies. All right, set the pastry side now. And we're just gonna take these ramekins over and fill them up. All right, so just fill them like uh, three quarters of the way up. And it's probably a little full, it's all right. All right, in this bowl, I've just whisked up one egg and about a, a tablespoon of water, and that's gonna be our egg wash. So what you wanna do is grab a brush and just put a little bit of egg wash just on the outside of these. That'll help the um, pastry stick to the top. All right, now we're gonna put our little lids on our pies, just like that, and just make sure it sticks to the edge. Yum. All right, Maddie's pies have little lids on them now, so we're just gonna put a little hole in the middle of it, about a centimeter or so, so let the air out. You can do something fancy on top if you like, but I'm gonna keep mine simple today. And then grab the egg wash again and just brush over all the pastry. All right, our oven is nice and hot, so we'll pop these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. 
Maddie's chicken pies are just about ready. Let's have a look. So they only took about 16 minutes. Yum. All right, let's check out these pies. Oh, yum. You can still enter your pantry and fridge to be selected to be on Shez's Pantry Challenge. So just go to the Sunshine Coast Lightning website and follow the links. They are the finished chicken, corn and asparagus pies um, from Maddie's Pantry and Fridge. Uh, we're going to put the challenge out to you guys now. We want to see you recreating some of these recipes off Shez's Pantry Challenge. Um, so make sure you tag at Sunshine Coast Lightning and also myself. 